The reason why we're here today is to talk about Lotto. You asked why it's having success. Well, it's having success for a bunch of reasons. Right now, um, one, the token design is just phenomenal. It's one of the coolest things I've seen. Uh, before I jump into that, I probably should establish some rapport, let you guys know who I am and why I'm even on the call. Uh, I've been doing crypto since 2016. Um, <clears throat> before that, I was a financial advisor, stockbroker, so I have a background, you know, fully licensed, did all that. Uh, got into crypto. I love it. Uh, it's one of the few, you know, th things you can do in life where you can pretty much control your own fate and destiny. You can make life-changing money in this if you pick the right projects. Um, it doesn't have as much regulation right now as the stock market. It's not necessarily a solved game. If you want 9 to 10% a year on your money tops, you can go into the stock market. You know, With crypto, you can make that in seconds. It's a, lot, it's, it's a lot of speculation, very high risk, but the reward is very high. That's why we're all in crypto. Everybody wants to get rich in crypto. Uh, the problem is that it attracts a lot of moon boys and it brings in a lot of scams. So there's a lot of get-rich-quick stuff. We've had this, um, in my opinion, poison on the market of all these meme coins, these dog tokens. They're just endless scams that just pop up left and right, uh, you know, because everybody's looking for the next Doge or Shib. Uh, they want to cash in on that. So, in my opinion, 99% of crypto is a scam. <laughs> uh, I mean, you might not want to hear that, but that's just reality. So, if you find quality projects, hold them because my first experience with crypto i came across finance coin bnb right when they first launched got it at four dollars wrote it up to, all the way up to 30 and then i sold too early and rather than staying with my gut everybody was showing other stuff online saying talking this that whatever about the greatest thing on earth so i didn't you know Followed my own gut, sold out, chased other stuff. You know, I was in Chainlink at 17 cents. I had opportunity. What happened is the market crashed and then left a bad taste in my mouth. And I missed the whole next run. Rather than sitting on a yacht, sipping a pina colada somewhere with 27 million in my account, I'm here right now, but I'm grinding back. The whole point is in crypto, you have the ability to change your life in a flash with the with with what you pick um recently i've had some success with a project that you interviewed on here that's kind of what i'm known for was vela perpetual uh, platform called it at five cents it went to almost eight dollars one of the best crypto projects out there hands down by far auto here we are again called this early I fell in love with this project it has the coolest token design you'll ever find out there if you go look it up let me let me let me stop talking for a second and let you ask me questions and then I'll explain why I think it's so cool. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So no, first thing I normally start off with is background about yourself and the team. So that's great. You covered all that stuff. Um, so uh, the rest of the team, as far as that goes, how many people are on the team? How many people are working on this project? Yeah. So we've got three guys working on this right now. Um, I actually was not originally part of the team. I actually was an investor myself came across this token actually doing my own research on another project and I was like wow that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen so before I invest in any project I always contact the team because in my opinion if you don't have a clear understanding of who's running it running the show you could tell real quick if a project's going to fail or not I've talked to projects because I get a lot of people asking me to either you know shield them or give them advice or this that and other and, you know, you can't accept all those offers. Some of them are just doomed. They're, they're destined to fail. <laughs> I get a good sense of where a project stands right away <clears throat> because it comes down to a couple of things. Marketing is very important. You have to have marketing. If you don't have good publicity and marketing, your project's not going to take off, no matter how good the product is. It's just not going to be heard of. There's too many projects out there uh, bombarding this space. Market's oversaturated, so you definitely have to have good marketing to stand out. Second thing is you definitely have to have the team, though. If the product's terrible, then it's not going to go anywhere, right? So it's a, it's a balancing act. Um, and then you have to have a strong community as well. Because if the community supports you, then that's going to help the token grow. They, it's organic word of mouth um, helps the token grow. 
So anyway, yeah, there's three of us right now. We have a genius lead dev. He's the one that does all the, the games and everything behind it. This was his idea. Um, so I'm definitely not going to take credit for this being my project. I came on because I was so excited about it. When I saw it, I was like, I've got to be a part of it. Uh, <clears throat> so there you go. Okay, gotcha. So you're you're an investor like the rest of us. You're just kind of probably a heavy investor and in, uh, kind of speaking for the uh, the team as far as this project goes. Just to no, I'm actually about the CMO it. now. They brought me on as the the chief marketing officer. So the CMO. Okay. Uh, but it, originally, I was an investor in it. Uh, I mean, Got I still it. invest in tons of other projects. This isn't the only thing uh, that I I do work with, but uh, I've definitely given it my all. Um, so. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, so let's roll into kind of some of the basics of the project. Just kind of hit us with an overview of how it works. Um, you know, how everybody can participate and get involved and have a chance to win the jackpot. Yeah, absolutely. Great question. All right. So this token's pretty unique. So here's how it works. Rather than just buying a token and then holding it and then hoping that, you know, there's some price appreciation and then you can sell it to the next guy that you paid for more than what you paid. Every time you buy the lotto token, as long as you buy over $100 worth and it scales based all the way up to 10%, $1,000 purchase gives you a 10% uh, chance of winning the jackpot. So $100 would give you 1%, $200 would give you 2%. Okay, so there's three ways to play this coin. You can either purchase the token intentionally trying to hit the jackpot, and if you fail, then you have the option to sell it and reattempt it. Now, the downside to that is there is a tax on the token. The tax is 10%. You ask, well, where is the 10% going? Well, 5% of it is going into that prize pool that's building quickly. So when there's a lot of buys and sells going back and forth, it quickly builds up. 1% of that is going into the Nitro pool. What a Nitro pool is, is this token's listed on Camelot, which is the largest uh, native decentralized exchange on Arbitrum. And they have Nitro pools set up where teams can add funds. So every Sunday, the Lotto team will take all the earnings from the Nitro pool or all the earnings and put it in there. So this week we had $22,000 worth of Ethereum added into the pool. And this was only like 16 days into the project. It's set to go up to like, we probably will get 30,000 or more this week. And that was paying out around 800% APR real time into your account and Ethereum that you can harvest at any time. There's no lock, there's no gimmick. It's that simple. That's why everybody's flooding into our LP. There's nowhere else that you can get that type of return. So the second way to play the coin is, let's say you buy, you miss, and you don't want to sell again and pay the tax and attempt the jackpot again. You can just hold it and hope for price appreciation, which obviously is crushing right now. It's going up like crazy. So you might have 10 x your money or higher, depending on when you got into the coin. A third way to play it, and which is the way I would play it personally, is buy the token. If you miss the jackpot, okay, no big deal. If you hit it, wonderful. Now you can buy even more if you wanted to or spend it on something else. And if you combine it with Ethereum, you can put it into our liquidity pool and start earning those rewards instantly. Now, the design for the token, which makes it so cool, is the fact is when people are buying and selling trying to hit these jackpots, not only is the jackpot growing in itself on every buy and sell, but the Nitro Pool rewards are increasing and the people that are in the LP are collecting trading fees. It's just a home run for anybody that's in the They love seeing the back and forth action. Um, so it's one of the unique tokens where if people sell, it's no big deal, man. Like it actually kind of helps in a way because it fuels the pot back up. And then the bigger the pot grows, the more people that are chasing it. So it's like a never ending like uh, flywheel of upward momentum. And people are going to obviously, the more volume, the bigger the nitro pool rewards. Okay, so what does that mean? More people want to go into the LP. So the LP is growing. Well, the problem with a lot of micro cap coins is they can't attract any liquidity. I mean, a couple of sales kills them. This coin has the sickest 
LP ratio I've seen ever on a micro cap. I mean, pull the chart right now. It's it's one it's 1.3 million cap, and this is a low supply coin. There's only one million. There's no uh, gimmick where there was 30 trillion coins printed and they gave half the vitality. There's none of that crap. It's one million. It's one of the slowest supply you'll see, and ha and half almost half the market cap is liquidity. So I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. Yeah, that is a pretty healthy amount of liquidity. Uh, if you guys will check, I just dropped their links over in the Lotto AMA questions. Go over there. I get the chart link in there. Um, you guys can pull it up and check it out. Uh, yeah, it's pr pretty much at the moment going straight up. So, uh, yeah, liquidity on deck screeners showing 483,000 market cap is 1.3 mil. So definitely a healthy uh, liquidity ratio there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's ask some of the community questions. They've kind of been loading in over there on the questions that they've got. So, um, we've got a, qu uh, a few questions from Ivar the Boneless. So he's wondering if you've been audited and I can say, yes, you have been audited right from Cognitos yeah, so, and that's on your website. Yeah. So I made a thread about this. This is one of the few coins that actually had an audit. That actually caught my eye too. I mean, most of these coins like, okay, so when you're investing in micro caps, it's a very dicey world out there. Half the time you're worried about getting rugged or honey potted. Okay. Honey pot's where you can't even sell the token, in case you didn't know what that meant. A rug is just where the team just immediately pulls the liquidity. The liquidi liquidity is locked already. The contract is renounced, which um, is a good thing and a bad thing. It means nothing can be changed. We actually wanted to take away the transfer tax and some different stuff, but we've renounced the contract. It's been audited and everything's locked. We have a 99 out of 99 score on Dex tools and 90 90 percent high or what like a really high rating on um, I guess everybody's opinion of the token I guess but yeah that was what that was important to me because at the end of the day the number one thing you got to avoid is rugs I mean they're they're everywhere in this space unfortunately just people can make tokens in 10 seconds. They'll immediately start showing them, and then they'll just pull the liquidity. It's very common on BSC, different networks. Um, that's definitely not the case here. The vision for the team is so, you know, there's so much more than just the lotto token itself. The game is really cool, interesting tokenomic design that's, that's pushing it right now. Just wait till all the new features are added. We just added last buyer today, which essentially just helps can create consistent volume around the clock where essentially if nobody buys over a hundred dollars worth in 30 minutes and 10 percent of the jackpot goes to the last buyer we have a referral program coming and then on top of that we've got multiple games coming uh, that are going to be added very soon uh, i could list them off if you'd like to hear them but you got to give me 10 seconds to pull all, all the games and there's some stuff that i can't even reveal Right now, it's very exciting, but this is going to be big. Yeah, sure. Anything you can can reveal, go ahead. I mean, I'm sure everybody would like to hear about it. And uh, in the meantime, I, I'm going yeah, to in the meantime, go ahead. I'm pulling up the yeah. list now, just a moment. Okay. Sure. Um, so they're just wondering if there is a minimum amount of lotto that can be staked in the nitro pool. Yeah, that's an easy question. There's no min or max. There's also no lock. Uh, it's uh, if you go onto the Telegram, just type in slash Nitro, and it'll give you the steps. But essentially, you just go to Camelot. You click liquidity. You add. You just click create. Click. I'm sorry. You click create a position, and then you add there. And then once it's done, you take that and add, uh, look for the Nitro pull. Nitro pool, scroll down and then add to the nitro pool. And that's what you need to do to do it. We have the guide, the step, uh, the steps provided on there. Um, but if we're happy to answer any questions, if anybody has any issues with it. Okay. Um, and then also, uh, can they withdraw uh, at any time without consequences, or is there a tax for withdrawing? Yeah, so all transactions are taxed. That is something to be aware of. Uh, all transactions are taxed. So if you're going to be in it for a day, don't do it because um, it's going to tax you. There's absolutely no point. But if you're planning to you know, make this into a real position and you want consistent real yield, that's the new narrative, real yield, um, then – I would say go for it. I mean, I want to see a point where we're doing a hundred thousand into the nitro pool weekly. I mean, how 
I mean, the people that are getting in right now are setting themselves up for big time money down the road. Because if you can buy a percentage of the, the liquidity pool and it's a small cap coin, you could sit back there and you could chill in your boxers and play Call of Duty all day and collect a big, big amount of money. You're basically almost like an owner in the casino. I mean, you're getting all the direct profits plus all the trading fees that are going back and forth. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so when you stake it, is that... Yeah, when you say it's taxed on every transaction. So if you if you go to stake it, is that a ten percent tax? Yes, that that is correct. And then if you take it out, it's another ten percent. Yeah. So there is going to be heavy taxes on it, and that's just part of the contract. But when you're making right. you know four hundred to eight hundred percent APR, it's really not. It'll be offset. There's also something called impermanent loss. Anytime you do a liquidity pool, you potentially could suffer from IL in either direction. If the coin tanked which is the opposite of what's happening now, then you would end up with more of the coin that you put in versus if you if the coin moons, worst case is you're going to get a little bit of IL, but you're going to be getting back more Ethereum than once you put in. Um, it should right. you, There's calculators that calculate all that stuff for you that make it easy. Um, it's definitely something to look up, but in my opinion, it makes, makes mathematical sense. The coin would literally have to go to $10 basically within like just a few days for you to to have like major il um that would not be offset by the trading fees and the constant apr gains anyway i pulled up the list of games that are coming i'm going to reveal a few of them but i'm not going to reveal all of them we're in development but i would expect to see a couple of these within a, a week or two uh but we have uh the games are going to be uh, roulette coin flip dice Rock, paper, scissors, Plinko, cups, hours, mines, crash. So it's just like some of these, uh, uh, you know, it's like a full venue. Kind of like mini games? Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. And they're going to all have tiny house edge. I mean, obviously in a coin flip, it's a 50-50, right? So the house edge is going to be extremely minimal. It's like 0.05%. But when you're running all these different games and as the player base increases, what's going to happen is, We'll take any revenues earned by the house and split it up and we'll add it some of it into the the nitro pool for even higher rewards. Some of it will fuel into the the jackpot. So I mean one you know, you ask, well um what's one of the you know you know disadvantages right now of the coin? So it would be if volume slowed down, then then you know, obviously the jackpot's not increasing. But as long as volume is up high or there's other things fueling the jackpot, then it's going to consistently bring, bring players in chasing it. Right now, the highest jackpot that we've had was around $9,500, um, which is pretty huge hit. I think somebody hit it with maybe $200 or something. I don't know. It's something crazy. You can look up. We have a uh, DAP on the website, D app on the website where you can – Look at all the results of past winners. People have won with every single percent, anywhere from 1% all the way up to 10%. Obviously, 10% is won the most because that's your best odds. But uh, anybody can win, even a uh, little guy that only has $200 to invest. I mean, he hit, you know, that could change somebody's, um, I wouldn't say change your life hitting 5K, but certainly change with your week, uh, that's for sure definitely change yeah who wouldn't want to <laughs> get 5k for 200 bucks i mean yeah. and, and it's not like you're buying it's not like you're losing out on anything you're also getting the token back which you might have just 10 extra money on it's a win-win man so pretty awesome yeah, i'm looking at yeah i'm looking at your website right now and uh looking at um, all the recent winners it's pretty cool um y'all's dap or the app whatever you want to call it the uh it's pretty cool the way it shows the recent winners and it shows recent players uh, it shows what the uh, jackpot is currently sitting at. Um, it's showing how much jackpot has been distributed, um, how many winners there's been, and a nitro pool and all that stuff. So it's got some great info on the dashboard, and y'all can access that. Everything in this project has been, been done quality. I mean, the two guys that are you know, that were running the show, they spent a lot of time and effort thinking of everything for this project. You know, our lead dev is literally a genius and I don't throw that term out loosely. I mean, everybody is, says, oh, this guy's a genius, but no, the guy's a genius. And, uh, you know, adding me into the fold, I just think we have a really hardworking team. I mean, 
I don't sleep basically, man. I, like that's why I'm like stuttering a little bit. I've been up for 19 hours grinding on this, like two days in a row, nonstop marketing. That's why you're seeing Lotto everywhere. That's why we're a tiny little coin and we trend number one every single day on Dex Tools at some point. You know why? Because we don't stop. I don't stop, man. I'm here to send this to at least 10, maybe $30 in the near future. Like, uh, so I live and breathe it. This is what I love to do. Um, so when you're buying Lotto, you're basically investing in the team. Uh, we've got a great camaraderie going, bounce ideas off each other. Sometimes I say stuff that they don't like and they say stuff that I don't like. We don't always agree, but we end up, you know, putting the ever the best, you know, project possible for everybody. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I've got some more questions. This one from uh, Zek Sama. He's wondering if you guys have any plans to expand to other networks like, you know, BSC or um, AVAX or anything like that. Yeah, there's some plans around that. I can't go into specifics. I hate saying that, but I don't want to reveal our whole game plan here. Um, our lead dev would probably be really upset with me if I gave away all our details. But it's something we're looking into for sure. I mean, we want to take over the whole crypto space. We're going to start with Arbitrum, take it over, and then we'll take over the rest of the crypto world, at least the casino part. But stay tuned. Cool. Um yeah, and I'm just watching the chart here. It looks like someone just threw in uh, about 1,200 bucks. So they'll be, they, that means they'll get the 10% chance to win that jackpot, right? Because it's over $1,000. Yeah, I mean, if you spend over $1,000, you're just hurting your chances. I mean, we had somebody ape 4,000. I love the excitement, but just use your head. I mean, divide that into four and you got four chances at it. Do it four That's times, cool. yeah, yeah. I just want to clarify, because a lot of people... I've been gambling forever. I'm a big poker player, a big numbers guy. Like, look, you don't, you're not guaranteed. Every single role is an independent role. Like, it's an independent variable. It's like when you go to a roulette table and you sit down, you see black eight times in a row. It doesn't mean that red is going to come the next time. It could come black again. I mean, I've linked articles where I think 26 times in a row the same number came. I mean, people have won with 1%. And somebody was like, oh, well, that's BS. I bought five or six times with $1,000. Okay, well, that's the, yeah, that you had bad luck, bad RNG. Like, it's, yeah. there's no, I root for the whales. I love to see the big guys win. You know why? Because a lot of times they'll dump it back and buy more. I don't, but we don't control that. Also, I mean, when I first joined in this game, when I didn't even know about, the, when I first found this project, before I even talked to the team, I bought nine times myself and got nothing didn't hit Jack. You know, I finally hit one after I fired enough bullets off. Guy came in and hit literally the next buy after me. There's no rhyme. I mean, it's just luck. I mean, and then right. also the pool got low where people were, I mean, some people complained people hit too much, which I guess is a good thing for the player. But uh, we added, you know, the team has topped off this pool twice. And within five minutes, the first time we topped it off, somebody hit. So everything we added went straight to them. And then the second time we added, we did our like big, big top off. I think we added like five or $7,000 and somebody hit it within 10 minutes. So yeah, we're going to do top offs, but it's not going to be a common occurrence because it's just not the, you know, if we do always do top offs, then people aren't going to want to play until we do a top off. So it's going to be for special occasions. And if the pool, if people are just nailing it left and right, one day there was like six winners in a row. Um, we've done simulations where the prize pool could potentially get all the way up to like $45,000 if, if there was like a string of misses, kind of like at a roulette table. The odds of that are extremely low, but there can be a whole long string of nobody hitting it. Um, <clears throat> I think yeah. that the pool is going to continue to grow as we expand the games and as the player base comes in, there's going to be more and more players. So I would expect to see bigger jackpots, but 9,600 I think is the highest so far. Yeah, yeah, that's what I saw in there as well. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's see, we had another one here. Um, they're asking, as far as purchasing Lotto, is Camelot the only place currently? Um, yeah, I would purchase it off Camelot. Uh, you never know with scam. I mean, I believe one inch may be an option, but I would say we're white listed on Camelot. Why not just use Camelot to be safe? I mean, there's a lot of phony Lotto. To like, people will make clones of any token nowadays. Any hot token they make, you know, they're going to try to scam you. So buy it off, buy it off Camelot, which is the place. Uh, it's whitelisted. 
make sure you set your slippage to 10%. If there's a lot of volume going on, people chasing the pot at the same time, up it to 11 and it should go through. Okay. Now, as far as how the team is making money, so we've got, I'm sure that's built into the tokenomics here. Let's see, we got- Yeah, uh, so right now, yeah, so I'm gonna explain that. So 5% goes to jackpot, 1% goes to nitro, then there's 4%, 2% goes to development, 2% goes to marketing. We've blown, I mean, honestly, we're spending so aggressively right now trying to put this on the map. We're, I mean, I've been paying out of pocket to try to get people on board. I mean, the reality is, you know, all these influencers nowadays, they all want something, you know, you can't go to them with a quality project. You know, they don't care about that. I'm like, well, what about your audience? Do they not want to know? I beg people to share this to their audience at 10 cents. No, man, I need a couple of thousand. To you know, it's ridiculous. They don't care about their community. They just want a check, a money. So things are expensive. Uh, and obviously this is a, a business. So we, we're going to make some money. Uh, we work hard, but uh, right now, no, we're not like, it's, not like we're getting rich off this we're putting everything back into the business we're, we're, we just got a huge partnership coming up that hadn't been announced yet we got you know people coming everywhere out of the woodworks now everybody wants a piece of lotto they sit now they want to talk about it now and about watch us when we're ten dollars then you'll have everybody want to talk about it but where were they when you were small you know they, they wanted their money you know so um but that's yeah. how it works <laughs> yeah so. yeah i had seen uh y'all Gotten a couple of big influence, influencers too. I'd seen like uh, Dojin was posting about you guys. Um, I follow him. I like following him. He's, yeah, Dojin's uh, posting about us. Jamie Kingston, uh, Moon King, uh, Poe just posted about us today. Uh, Bull Run Gravana's posting about us. Uh, I've got, I know every single influencer in the game pretty much. Uh, they're all, I think a lot of them are coming around to it. And anybody that's seen the project was like, that's a really cool idea. Uh, so I think they're warming up to it. I've actually had a lot of them say, yo, I'm buying the token, but I'm not going to shill it because it's a gambling token. So they're, you know, maybe it's part of their, you know, they don't want to talk about gambling tokens. Uh, Food Farmers, another one that talked about us. 2x and more uh logan DeFi. i'm just trying to give shout outs i don't think any of them are actually listening to this but yeah we we, we have quite a few people coming on board and uh i would expect to see a lot more in the future i mean everybody wants to back a winner right uh, so right yeah okay and so as far as actual tokens team tokens um i see three percent to the team are those vested or anything you barely got any tokens at all <laughs> literally because i actually asked because I, I was like yo i want to come in and try to get some compensation you know for my time mm -hmm. i think everybody sees how much hours we barely have any tokens i mean just gonna go ahead and tell you right now team has barely, which is a good thing for everybody because most, you know, most of the time it's the opposite. Okay, let me tell you how this works. So when these little meme coins of crap, when they create it, they add the liquidity and then they buy a million of their tokens up. They basically buy up most of their supply and then they send it out to like a ton of different wallets that they own. And then they basically can slow rug you or dump you down whenever they want. That's not the case with this. Team has basically no tokens, and that's just a fact. We gave away a lot of the tokens that we did have to one influencer that tried to, that came on early on to try to help us get us on the map, and then we also gave away most of them in a partnership. But like I said, it's a good thing, you know. You don't, you, you don't want them, you know. You don't want teams dumping on you. And then the second thing is another one is they'll take a lot of tokens early on, or they'll sell them. Like there was no pre-sell, there was no any of that stuff. So there's no VCs in here that are just gonna. I buy the token for pennies on the dollar and then dump it on your head when the unlocks happen. So no, everything's in circulation. I mean, this is, that's why I love the coin myself as an investor. I mean, I, I actually posted my story and the, the, we actually created a discord. I actually asked people, how do you find out about Lotto? Because it helps me as the marketing guy know where to allocate resources in the future. I came across it from 4chan business, which is a, a reddit uh, or basically like a reddit forum um and you know some people came across it from my discord or twitter and then you know some of us some people see us trending so there's uh, it's, it's interesting to see where people are picking us up and i hope you know people will come from crypto kingdom you know yeah very cool uh so let's let's move on to the roadmap then so uh let's see we see 
at the bottom of the website, phase one, phase two, uh, looks like all of those are completed. So phase three, we've got uh, update the DAP, initiate the referral program, initiate last buy winner, which I guess you said you just did today. So that one um, has been done. And then you've got the on-chain games coming. So uh, tell us a little bit about the referral program, if you can. Yeah, we're, we're cranking out everything as much as we can. I mean, um, so we did implement Last Buyer that went live this morning um, just a few hours ago. We've already noticed some traction on it. It hasn't really been much of a factor because Lotto has been trending and, and it's not like there's been a real lull in the action. Um, but I think it'll be a good thing in the future when there's times when the market gets slow. Usually in weekends is when crypto slows down a little bit. So... <clears throat> That'll help substantially. Next thing is referral program, which is what you asked about. You're going to have the ability to invite friends to play. And if you hit, if they hit a jackpot, then you're going to get 10% of it. It does not come out of their jackpot. It comes out of a separate pool we have set aside. So it's not going to like screw whoever invited, whoever hit it or whoever invited it. But that's going to be an exciting feature. Uh, you know, hypothetically had i been in the referral program i mean i've seen i know tons of people that have hit the jackpot you could make a good stream of income just referring people to lotto and if they hit it um then you get 10 percent. that's pretty nice i mean so i think that's going to be a huge success for us as the referral program we're going to have vanity plates coming so people can flex their names we're going to have a leaderboard to show people that won jackpots uh track volume so we're gonna have like contest giveaways for you know volume stuff there's there's so much planned i mean this is much bigger than just a token where you buy it and hope to hit a jackpot i mean that's cool in itself but what's going to keep people around is all the you know adding different components to this so we're going to make this something special here awesome so i've got a couple more here that i think a couple of them i can kind of just answer myself here um matt is wondering can they view the current amount of eth in the um in the jackpot basically yeah that's in the it's on their website uh on the dab just go to their website uh we've got our link in there. the telegram too it literally pops up every like 10 seconds on the telegram you can if you're in the telegram it's you could track it from that as well what you said but every time someone buys uh, literally like the buy bot flashes up and says winner or loser and then it sh updates the uh the numbers accordingly okay cool so yeah go join the telegram uh sounds like they got some extra information over there too they've got uh kind of instructions and stuff the nitro pool like you said slash nitro um you can run some commands in there to get some info um let's see what happens to the jackpot if there's no buy and sell transactions for a certain period of time they just initiated the last buy winner um which will uh pay out the last buyer if they don't have it within 30 minutes is that what you said yeah, so it's cool. Um, it flashes a warning at 10 minutes that nobody's bought. And then it flashes a warning at one minute. So little ducky goes across the screen and says like 10 minutes to the last buyer and then one minute to the last buyer. And if nobody buys in that last minute, then yeah, 10% goes to whoever was the last buyer. Nobody's had oh, gotcha. it. Okay. We've only been live for seven hours of it, but all the animations yeah. are pretty cool. And right now, just looking at the stats and pulling it up, it looks like, uh, yeah, the current jackpot's right at twenty five hundred dollars. The next jackpot would be about twelve fifty, and the 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 nitro reward pool, which is what goes in on Sundays, is already basically like ten thousand. I mean, we have an insane week lined up. We've got AMAs galore <laughs> the next couple of days. By the time Sunday rolls around, you're going to be looking at a fat nitro pool. And what that means is everybody wants that juicy APR. I mean, the guys that are in it right now are printing, <laughs> printing. I actually encourage anybody that's in the nitro pool right now to show off your gains, flex them. I mean, it's, it's ridiculously good. Cool. Would you say that the Telegram is more active than the Discord? Like, where's the Absolutely. most active? Tele yeah. Well, okay. our original Telegram actually got, like, attacked, I guess. I don't know what happened. I was asleep, but um, I guess some Jeet took over the, the Telegram, so we had to create a new one. Uh, so we had a couple of thousand people, I think, in the original one. There's only 356 people in this one, but we just set up a... Brand new sparkling Discord. It's boosted. It's mainly me posting stuff, trying to get people hyped. But 
would love for everybody to join. Um, it's all about the community. So it's cool to hear people talking in there. Uh, usually when the jackpot gets really high, the telegram just goes nuts. Uh, you know, we have some people that have played where a guy the other day, he sold like 6,000 bucks worth and just fired bullet and bullet until he finally won. So he won, a, you know, that's part of the game. I mean, it's the risk versus the reward. Uh, you know, it's it's tempting to get in there when the, if the pool's huge and it actually makes, you know, you have plus expected value as a gambler to go in there and pursue it. Uh, so, you know, when you've got four or five people firing off at the same time, left and right, um, it's it's really it's really fun thing to watch. It's like a sporting event almost. People are cheering for each other and stuff like that. So, <laughs> yeah, people get high time. Heck yeah. Uh, cool. Let's see. I've got another one here. I was just reading. Uh, where did that go? Um, oh, wait, someone was asking about sending tokens uh, to another wallet. Um, so there is going to be a tax that transfers. Yeah, that, I right? learned that the hard way, actually. I That's actually how I, when I first got into this token, I bought and then transferred to my other wallet because there was like, uh, <clears throat> I didn't realize there was a tax on it. And I, I went and just ripped into the the guys that were running it and was like you guys suck you didn't put the transaction tax in here so i believe they've updated all the documents on it um but that's yeah, just I, think part I, of it. I mean that's just a token design you have to t the reason why the jackpot grows so fast and that we can pay the huge wins and then the apr is because of the tax if had competitors try to rip off our coin and do some similar and maybe they're in here listening i don't know I've been getting DMs left and right. They've been coming into our Telegram trying to FUD, and it's hilarious because they were trying to pay me to come shield their project not knowing that I was working with this. Anyway, they just have terrible token design. You know, they can't compete with us. Uh, the, the, the guy that created this token thought it out very well. There's a reason why everybody that's tried to do the lotto token like us has failed. They just don't have the execution. They just don't have the team just don't have the marketing they'll just won't compete with us they're gone you know they basically have no volume their liquidity is a joke 22k get out of here there's two of them that have failed they're probably salty you know <laughs> it just is what it is i mean i get projects mad at me all the time i uh, got one calling me out from the official page today because i called out that they were going to dump and they dumped 80 percent from all-time high so no feelings i'm not trying to hurt their feelings i just call it how it is in this game man and I, I've been around the block. I've seen a lot. Like, people ask, well, how do you know these projects going to pump or dump uh, CR? And I say, well, because I read the documents. I study the tokenomics. I've been in projects. Like, you know, if you've been in crypto long enough, everybody's experienced a rug, a honeypot. They know what to look for. They have the tools. Like, I, I know how to research. I mean, I, for the most part, you know, my last eight calls have all been gems. Like, you know, I don't miss because I put the time and effort in. You can't treat crypto like, I mean, you can make it a hobby, I guess. But you, if you really want to be successful, it's just like a job. You, you have to sit there and, and learn the game. And, and that's what's exciting about the space is like a lot of people don't even venture outside of the comfort of just buying a few coins off Coinbase. Like they never, you know, go out there and expand the horizons. I mean, you should feel lucky that you're even on Arbitrum. I mean, there's so many people that would never even take the time to bridge across and you might have gotten the airdrop, you know, could be a big win for some people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to look into that. I've definitely done my part in bridging over to Arbitrum. So I wonder if I'm, I don't know, I guess I need to check into that, see what I'm, see what's available for me on that airdrop. Cause I just started seeing that stuff today. I've seen it all over Twitter. So um, yeah, guys, y'all look into that too. If y'all have been on Arbitrum, uh, see if y'all are uh, available for that airdrop. So, um, all right. I think I've pretty much covered most things here. Is there anything else that you want to touch on before we kind of wrap things up? No, I mean, I think we covered most of the stuff. I appreciate everybody that came here to listen to me today. I tried to make it entertaining and tried to throw in some knowledge, some truth. Uh, I think, <laughs> think we've got something good here uh we'll try to make you proud <laughs> i know i'll do my part and i know the rest of the team will do their part uh we just need community to help spread the word uh tell friends and uh that's about that's all we can do that's all we can ask for and uh hope everybody has a fun time um hopefully everybody can win but obviously that's it's not a zero-sum game there's got to be somebody that wins and somebody loses and that's how the jackpot goes <laughs> may luck be on your side that's all i've got to say all right, man. Well, y'all heard him. Well, go join the Discord and the Telegram if you guys want to figure out 
uh, kind of information. If there's any other questions that you've got that maybe didn't get answered today, uh, if you missed part of, of this AMA, I will have this recording up. Uh, YouTube's a little slow, so give me a few hours. Let me get it all uh, set up and uploaded, and uh, I'll make sure I get this up. So in case you missed anything, this will be available on the Crypto Kingdom YouTube, and uh, I'll share that with you, Crypto Royal Royalty, whenever I, I get that done. So um, yeah, be looking for that, guys. And then uh, as always, I'm going to pick the giveaway winners. Uh, we're giving away $50 a day. Um, as usual, you know, I'll be going through the recording and looking at who all was in here listening the whole time, who all asked good questions, who was participating, all that good stuff. So I'll get that information out shortly. Just uh, give me a little time to wrap it all up and uh, we'll get it delivered out to everyone. So um, yeah, I appreciate you being with us, Crypto Royalty, and uh, I wish you guys the best of luck, man. I'll be watching the chart. Thank you, buddy. You were an excellent host. Uh, you asked good questions. Uh, once again, thank you for everybody being here. If you have any questions for me, I'm pretty much all the time online. I like to help people that want to learn and want to be helped. I'm not just going to tell you what to buy. I I'll try to give you some options. Uh, like I said, you can <laughs> uh, you can make it in this game. You just got to put the effort in. It's with anything in life. Put the effort in and you'll make it. Have a good day. Yeah, definitely. You too, man. Talk soon. Bye.